I should say it's uh, 4, 20, 4 hours and 23 minutes into the morning, uh, into the day of uh, June 18th, Monday, June 18th, 2012. And uh, we're getting our next day started. I've got a banana and some chocolate milk. Uh, I have been doing some, uh, uh, I, I had been sleeping, but uh, I was feeling a little hungry, so I got up to this is, the editing for, this is the editing for the video. Um, it's uh, in the editing bay right now, being rendered. As soon as it renders, it's going to go up uh, to YouTube. And uh, I'm going to uh, have it... Uh, uh, I'll try to push it out in about an hour or so. We'll see what happens. And then we'll go back and get some more rest. I, I, you know, I still have to figure out what I'm going to do for the day right now. In terms of when I'm going to actually start the day. So. Yeah, we'll see what's going to happen. I do have to do. Uh, I do have to uh, get. Uh, an enormous amount of uh, work actually done. Uh, in terms of the cleaning, the cleaning is uh, is something that's kind of lagging. It needs to be done, but it's kind of lagging. Uh, so there's an enormous amount of cleaning that needs that, that I actually have to do. I, I, I'm supposed to clean on a regular basis, but sometimes, uh, depending on the workload that's done here, it's here. Uh, it's not always possible to do all the cleaning that sort of ne that, that needs to be done. So uh, every once in a while, once you get to a point where enough work has been done, in that case now, uh, you move on and uh, you put some of the work on hold for like a day or so and do uh, what we call marathon cleaning. Just signing into YouTube here and seeing what's going on. Uh, but, well, you know, everything has its own uh, rhythm, it has its own, uh, to me anyway, the sense of reality. And uh, what I'll be showing you uh, over the next couple of days, and actually further on out, is um, how you know how you're how you're going to uh, how you're going to actually deal with a lot of the issues that come up as you deal, uh, as you're doing research and starting to put that puzzle together uh, how you deal with different bits of information really uh, matters because these bits of information can affect your life and then I was going to say mistakenly infect your life but I, the second realization after the first realization I first realized hey maybe that's wrong and then I realized, I realized again after that that it wasn't wrong that the information can infect your life uh, it becomes an infection. It, it grows and, and attaches itself. So, but it doesn't necessarily have to be bad. I mean, 
uh, some some information that, that infects your life can be a good thing. It's not uh, doesn't necessarily have to be bad. So uh, what I'll be doing over uh, the next little bit is, uh, as you'll see me rolling out uh, the next bits of the puzzle, bringing everything up to 720p uh, and into a, a lot more regular production schedule. Uh, I'll explain to you how this actually fits in with my life and how things have, have become integrated in with my life so that I'm not only doing uh, uh, my research as you know, a job that really doesn't affect my life, but the research is, is fully integrated into my life and that uh, I'm living the role of an explorer. So. Uh, for me, kind of fun stuff, and if you like, if you like exploration, if you're a person who enjoys exploration, uh, while it may not be on ships and stuff like that, uh, the adventures here, in terms of how I get things done, is in many ways uh, very similar. Uh, there is uh, a lot of intense moments where I'm looking to get something done, but a project is a couple months off, or you know. And then there are moments where I do get things done, like um, I'm moving now from a very uh, a, a simpler, uh, entering into uh, a, a very simple working on one computer system now. I'm going from working on a computer system to working across the network, a small Linux network. And then I'm going to I'm going to take this opportunity with a new uh, with a new um, uh, electronics bench, a new system on the electronics bench that I just added to the network. I'm going to take that opportunity to crawl further out onto the internet. So, it's going to be a growth, it's going to be an expansion of the virtual presence. Uh, the goal will be within the year or so to really start having some artificial intelligence put into uh, anything you see, in, anywhere you see Cyborg Alpha any, on, on any of the um, social pages. The goal will be within the next year or so to put, start putting in some artificial intelligence. So uh, that should be fun. Should be interesting to see how I can get that done. Uh, I've got the basic concept done. Now it's a matter of rolling it out and testing out the various different theories and ideas. And uh, so going from the conceptual into reality now. So that's this is the next major step forward. Uh, I will explain to you how everything connects with the church. Uh, and my, particularly my church, and that uh, unlike when you talk about for personal uh, pur purposes, uh, uh, we talk, talk about church and relig uh, religion and politics because you, you let people have their own particular ideas. I'll show you how things actually fit in and why differences in theology, which affects how religions work, uh, actually does indeed matter because that, that these differences in theology produce the differences in how religions operate. Uh, so that's, that's what's coming. Uh, this is sort of where we've been and now I'm off to uh, do some, uh, uh, some of my, uh, let's call it, uh, beginning work on YouTube. Alrighty. Well, uh, it's uh, one o'clock in the morning on uh, June June 18th, uh, 2012, uh, Tuesday. Yeah, um, I'm just doing some debug here. Spent, uh, I think it was uh, I think five hours working on uh, simple animation videos, trying to get things exactly right, so uh, it, 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 the, end of the learning process is an interesting thing because in many cases it's, all, it, it's exactly the same thing as playing, so there's no functional, there's no functional or real difference between the two. Uh, and it just, you spend a, long, a lot of time doing it, but when you do a tutorial, you can't do put the the five hours of work that you put into it uh, in a 15 minute tutorial. You can only do you know uh, certain pieces, bits and pieces of it. So 
that's sort of the goal. Once you've done the work, you got to whittle down the uh, that five hours worth of work into, uh, into 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 ten to fifteen minutes. So, anyways, we're continuing on, moving moving along, chugging along. Um, I will check back with you uh, probably around four or five o'clock in the morning. All right. Alrighty, it's 4:30 in the 4:30 in the morning. Yeah, four hours and 35 minutes into the day of Tuesday, June 19th, uh, 2012, and finishing up the day today. Uh, I got about an hour left to go, and then uh, everything will go down for the day, and I'll take care of this, the editing and the uploading tomorrow for uh, the next episode of Big Bang Theory RL. Yeah, it's been a productive day. I got more of the animation done I need to get done, and uh, getting more into the sink of getting the production, the video production done, getting the video production done on a daily basis. Uh, I've also got to work on some of the quirks I've got on camera to better improve the presentation, but these things will come along in time as they, you know, do more and more, but uh, they'll also fall off in time. Uh, the more sleep deprived I am, the worse things are going to be. So uh, that kind of kind of goes without saying that you know when you're sleep deprived, you don't necessarily do or perform your best. So yeah. Anyway, uh, that's going to be it for now. And I'll see you tomorrow. Free speech rules here at Democratic Earth.